Good evening, Kane. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hello, and thank you for joining us tonight. I think a private institution would do a much better job. I don't think that I need to ask permission to drive on the road. For me, my goal is to live a free life. So you can ask for Go inside. You'll be arrested. Happy New Year's from all of us here at Free Keen TV. May it be a happy, healthy, and prosperous one for you and yours. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm your anchor, Heike Corser. Starting out tonight, we take a moment to recognize one of our own. For the first annual Free Keen Activist of the Year, we honor Derek J. Freeman. Derek arrived here in Keene last June and has been a driving force behind liberty activism ever since. He jumped at the chance to be a part of this TV project and has been a large contributor. Derek's list of achievements and participation is long. Here's some of it. Derek has been involved with Free Keen TV, Free Talk Live, Prometheus Unchained. He is a video editor and blogger at freekeen.com and freeagents.com. Derek has helped start Free Speech Fridays and the dance parties that occur at Central Square. Thanks so much, Derek Freeman, for all of your contributions, and congratulations on being the first annual Free Keen Activist of the Year. In a related story, Derek recently attracted national press with a story from the Associated Press highlighting his unlicensed haircuts. The New Hampshire legislator is looking at deregulating the cosmetology industry and other jobs. Deregulation typically opens up competition and fosters a better set of options for the consumer. Cheshire Superior Court is at the center of controversy once again. Ian Freeman had a hearing before Judge P. Arnold on December 21st. Before the hearing started, Court Security Officer Bob Tebow told select individuals in attendance that they must stand as the judge enters the room. Several people declined to take part in the compelled respect and were kicked out of the courtroom by Mr. Tebow. Two individuals, Jason Talley of Talley TV and Kelly James, were arrested for not complying fast enough. Jason Talley did not want to assist in his own kidnapping and decided to go limp. CSO Bob Tebow decided it was best to handcuff Jason and then drag him across the floor by his handcuffs. This is the second time Jason has been arrested in such a way by the superior, superior court personnel. Both Kelly and Jason were given a stern lecture on courtroom behavior by Judge Arnold and then released. Here is an illustrated audio record of the arrests. All right, this afternoon in Keene, uh, there was a trial that I had, a civil trial, and uh, right before the trial started, the email came in, everyone was told to all rise, and uh, no one on the uh, defendant side of the courtroom did. Uh, they were then threatened by the court bailiffs, and some people decided to, uh, they, they were told that uh, they had to leave. Uh, some people decided to get up and slowly leave. The bailiffs moved in on folks. Uh, Jason Talley was uh, getting up and leaving. He was placed under arrest. Uh, Kelly was also arrested. So we've had two arrests this afternoon simply for not standing for the man in the road. Uh, arraignments are scheduled just after 3 o'clock, probably around 3.15. At the earliest, uh, court closes at 4, so it will be somewhere between 3.10 and 3.15, 4 o'clock. Uh, arraignments for both Jason Talley and Kelly uh, from Arizona who were both arrested today at the Superior Court uh, in Keene. And uh, interestingly, uh, no other court in, in uh, New Hampshire seems to care if uh, whether or not people stand up for a judge, but in the Superior Court in Keene, they will arrest people for it. Uh, no one else seems to care about people wearing hats in any other court in New Hampshire, but in Keene, uh, wearing a hat will also get you arrested. So uh, that's what we're dealing with here, and uh, I hope you have a, a lovely day. Kelly. Friends of Jason and Kelly were upset by the abuse of power and uh, they wanted to see if other personnel in the courthouse were upset with the treatment of Tally and Kelly James. After greeting the court workers and personnel in the morning, individuals returned in the afternoon. This is a video of what happened. 
Yeah, well, my lines are way up. Yes, indeed. So you guys know, um, I've been out here a few times now, talking to everybody coming out. and um, Yeah, we're wishing folks a Merry Christmas. Just talking like a normal person, not like you're being an interview status, okay? I appreciate that. Um, just to inform you, uh, do not get in their way of going to the vehicles. The sheriffs are here. Do not stay at a close distance to them. You need to keep your space from them, okay? Um, as long as you guys do that, I mean, don't follow them to their vehicle, you know, at close distance and getting in the way and doing all that stuff, okay? They have a right to their freedom of movement to their vehicle and getting in and leaving and going home. Of course. I don't so think anyone would interfere. The building, they're no longer a public official. They're not getting paid by any government taxes or anything when they're going home. So you need to treat them as a private citizen when they're leaving the building, okay? Well, I don't well that's know about what that. it is. They're a private citizen. They're not getting paid by any government facility when they're walking out these doors. Okay? Do you agree with that? I uh, don't know. How do you not agree about that? They're off. They're, they close at 4 o'clock. They're not getting paid. Right. right. So how are they a government? Well, official? we're just wishing folks a Merry Christmas. Well, I understand that, but I'm just letting you know, okay? Asking them guys, some if, questions. If you guys get in their way of them going to the vehicles, it can be disorderly conduct. I get what you're saying. There's nobody getting in anybody's continue, way. Continue getting in their way. Have you seen anyone getting um, in someone's way? Yeah, I'm just telling you, if you guys continue with an aspect of getting in their way of constantly asking them questions when you're right in their face and stuff, okay, which has look. happened, which has happened, okay, there can possibly be an issue of a stalking case coming up. I'm just letting you know, okay? So, so well, let me see if need, I you understand. Keep your distance are you, from them. Are you saying that someone, way, are okay? you saying, it sounded like you said somebody got in their way. Yes. And when was that? That's what we've been informed in the last couple of days. Do you have evidence of that? Those security cameras would possibly do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just telling everybody. What, what okay? would it mean to Fair, get in someone's I'm way? I'm telling everybody so everybody Can knows. you give an example of what it would mean so I'm like going to walk towards yeah. you as though I'm going to my car? What would it mean to get in someone's way? So, if I'm walking, are you in my way? If I'm walking from here to my vehicle, are you in my way right now? Well, if you stand in their way when they're going toward their vehicle, right. I'm just asking walk, you what it means. Look, they, I just want to if know. If they have like, to walk around you, get into their vehicle. Okay. If you're walk following them to your okay. vehicle, so if they have to move their if, path, if, is what you're saying. If you're in their way going to the vehicle, if you're following them to their vehicles, yeah. if you're constantly asking them questions and and trying to intimidate them. Oh, Whoa, this, intimidation. You know, it's like this, getting broader and broader. Get bigger, okay? So I'm just telling you guys, just keep your distance. Let them. They're not working Are anymore. Are you saying asking questions is intimidating? They're not working anymore. If they don't want to talk to you. Caleb, look, I get what you're saying, okay? Okay, I'm just letting you know. I just want to clarify because good communication is about, you know, understanding what someone else is saying. Okay. So you're saying, use the term intimidation. And I don't really know what you mean by that. Like, I know what intimidation means to me. If they feel intimidated, it can mean anything. Oh, it only matters how they feel. So if I yes. ask someone Part a question... Part of the statute is how you feel. If it, you feel fearful for your life, well, if in you that case, I felt intimidated and fearful for my life yesterday when Tebow went in a rage and drug people out of a courtroom by handcuffs. Well, he was dragging, dragging them out because they were under arrest. Well, I felt very intimidated and, and fearful of that. You said that was wrong. I don't know why you felt fearful because somebody else was... He was threatening me as well. He threatened me twice because yesterday. Because you weren't following the rules and regulations. He assaulted me. So is it against the rules to ask public officials questions? Public officials? Yes. You can probably ask them questions, but don't get them right. Don't get too close to them. Let them be on their way to the vehicle. Well, I disagree that following them or walking next to them... I, well, following... Follow them. I don't know what you... Following, like... Don't follow them to the vehicles, okay? I don't understand why I can't walk stand, alongside someone. you guys stand someone. over there, and videotape them and ask them questions. You know. Am I allowed to bring this camera inside? No. So what do you expect me to do when I need to ask one of these people a question about what they did? Get approved. Get, get, uh, get approved by who? Get in. The person. By the same people I want to ask questions. You really, you, you understand what's going on here. I understand that you need to get approval to get them in there. You understand that I'm being restricted from having this camera in the courtroom. I'm not going to go So that I can't that. even I'm, show people what happened Adam, yesterday. I wouldn't Adam, be I'm out not, here. I'm not going to go over this right now. I'm My name is a demo, by the way. Right now. Adam. Your name's Adam. I'm not gonna go into all the other stuff you guys want to get into. I'm, for, I'm telling you what's happening right now. Right. I don't want to talk about the camera. If you don't want to agree upon this stuff, I just want to know what you mean. Like, I just have some more questions about about. Look, okay. So, so you said don't get in someone's way, and so my understanding of that would be that you're in my way now. If I'm walking toward that car there, for instance, but if I were walking this way, you wouldn't be in my way, right? No, but you guys. Okay, just want to clarify what that okay, means. but don't strategically position yourself around these vehicles, <laughs> but you know they're driving already because you've seen them come and go in these vehicles. 
to not strategically position yourself along these routes where these people are going to walk so that they are going to have to walk by you so that you can ask them questions. Well, now that would, doing, that okay? sounds like you're suggesting that we shouldn't be able to move to whatever place in the public space that we would like. I don't want to make. I want to make sure we're not in this uh, gentleman's way here. That's censoring of the media. Okay, no problem. So, hey guys. I know okay, this, so this is the vehicle right here. So you have to get out of the way, please. Okay. Yeah, I certainly don't want to get in anyone's way, and I don't think we were in anyone's way this morning. No one, uh, no one accused us of being in uh, anyone's way. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, no one accused us of being in anyone's way this morning. This is the first I've heard of anything well, like that. That's why I came out to talk to you and just okay. notify you what, what was happening. Well, and, that's, that's uh, fine. I don't just, intend to get in anyone's way. I understand that. But the real concern for me is to suggest that it would be intimidating or stalking to ask someone questions in public. Well, if you're constantly following them and uh, they, don't wanna, they don't want you following them, you know, then following. they can consider that a stalking issue. So I'm just letting you know, okay? What does it mean to follow someone? If you're purposely following where they're going and purposely going the way they're going to follow them and to constantly go after them, okay? You're I, you're not dumb. You are a I'm very smart person. I'm not or following anybody. I have every intention of asking a public officials about actions that he did. Following them. To ask them you can questions. define it however you if want. If you keep on following them to ask some questions, you can define it however you want. Them. I have every intention of, okay. as a member of the press, okay. asking a public official about actions they okay. did. I understand that. In well, the course of their that duty, that is my right. We will keep that in mind, okay? No, so that that's so. You can you can keep it all set for you, guys. Hey, Bob. Do you want to answer about uh, your actions yesterday? Are you proud of what you did yesterday? You got your fist raised up, Bob. Now you're coming towards me. He's coming towards me. You'll be stalking me. Look you at see that? that? He raised his fist, Look at and that. he came Tebow. towards me. Tebow is violent. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah I catch that. Uh, history of Excuse me, this man just threatened me. me. Uh, uh, Caleb Dodson, Dodson, this, this man just threatened me. me. Did you see that? He made an he aggressive he right action right towards him. And he came, he came after, after me. me. Did you see uh, that? He used his video to come after me. Did you see that? Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Just wondering how you feel about one of your colleagues having uh, people arrested uh, for not standing in a courtroom. Would you have uh, people arrested for not rising for you when you enter a room? We find it very disturbing. I hope you'll agree. That's not the case. Is Liberty dying where you live? Uh. Tonight we have Johnny Ray and Allie Havens. Hey, Allie. How's it going, Johnny Ray? Pretty good. Um, you know, I'm always a little nervous when I get back here, but today I'm especially terrified <laughs> for no particular reason. So, the video we saw. Uh, I thought it was nice. I thought it really got kind of the most interesting part happened when Tebow came out and he was walking. His truck was over here, but after Ian and all the rest of them had gotten a mouthful about not intimidating people, the bureaucrat comes out and makes a beeline with his fist up in the air and then turns and goes off to his truck. Right, yeah, beeline towards um, Ian Freeman. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I saw that too with the different cameras. Um, if you watch Ian's camera, it's really obvious the way he sort of, you know, he's like coming at him, he's got his arm raised. But whether or not Tebow, <clears throat> um, we can't, we, we can speculate as to what Tebow would have done if there hadn't been cameras on all day. Uh -huh. But um, I, I thought the p part that was the most interesting was when uh, Caleb Dodson, the one with the silly hat, came out and was uh, sort of making accusations. And uh, I thought, I thought the activists did a good job of sort of trying to get clarification about what kind of case they said they're pursuing against them. Uh -huh. And um, uh, he didn't seem very, he didn't have any legal answers for him. For yeah. instance, he asked him, you know, what does following somebody mean? And he didn't seem to have any kind of legal definition or any kind of clarification for them. It really seemed to me like uh, they just don't, uh, the, the, 
employees of the Cheshire Superior Court don't want to be filmed in any part uh -huh. of their job. I mean, I understand the point that when they're leaving, um, you know, they're not being they're not being paid at that point and the whole point about them being private citizens, but we would never see them being filmed after work if they were allowed to be filmed during their regular jobs. Right, right. The, um, the, the law, which you're talking about legal justifications, that's just kind of a, a game that you sort of run around in circles. Um, but I actually liked the, uh, the sheriff's deputy a lot. I felt like the way that I felt like what happened was people were coming out going to their cars and Ian and Adamo and uh, that troublemaker Jason Repture were um, you know annoying some people people didn't like maybe the questions they were being asked or they just wanted to go home so they went in and complained about it and he came out and I thought I really liked him I thought that he did he, he was he was doing his best and um, he's just he's just not working you know the the um, elected officials and bureaucrats of all kinds just they're not doing honorable work so no no matter how good they are they, they it's not good in the end mm -hmm. um, you mean what what about their work do you find not honorable is it just the way they're paid exactly or? exactly most people as you've heard many times before most people go out to, to work like you and I and we operate on a voluntary consensual basis and people buy things and pay us because they want to, because they know they're going to get something from us. You know, we're making a, a, an exchange, and mm -hmm. that's honorable. But the uh, the police and the tax collectors, they they just they just do what they do, and they take your money, and and you're going to give it to them. That's it. Right. Uh, do you think my? I think it's strange that they don't want to be filmed in their jobs, and I think they know that the reason that they're being filmed outside of their work, or at least maybe they don't know, maybe the employees who come in don't have any idea what kind of aggression is being taken upon the activists that try to film when their friends are being arrested or have being summoned to court or whatever. Maybe they don't realize uh, that they're not allowed in with cameras, but some of them definitely do. Uh, for oh instance, yeah. Tebow has, uh, the one that was raising his fist at Ian, he's arrested Jason Talley uh, and, you know, he was the one that arrest, arrested him for not standing and you know so he's completely aware of the situation and you know at least some of them know what's going on and I think that it's more about um, you know the the complaint about people being off the clock and being filmed I can somewhat understand but if without the context of knowing that you're not allowed inside the court during operating hours with the camera sort of puts everything in perspective, which is why the activism was done in the first place. Yeah, now Cheshire Superior Court, is that different from like City Hall where mo where like people go to pay their traffic tickets and stuff? Right. Yeah, it's a different building. I think so. Yeah. I guess they're different. They're all, you have, they send you to like a thousand different places depending on whatever it is, uh -huh. whatever business you have to get to. Yeah, yeah. And um, going back to what you were saying earlier about them knowing, um, I, I, I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. I, I, like I said, the, uh, the, uh, the deputy sheriff was, was very appealing to me. And, um, but he does that job every day, and he's not stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to give people the benefit of the doubt, but I have to assume like a, um, severe ignorance and on their part in order for them to be good and do what they're doing. Right, right, and I, I think that, you know, he handled himself politely, but at the same time, he was sort of implying threats about, talking about making a case against um, a, stalk, a yeah, stalking, stalking case. disorderly conduct. You know, he's the one bringing up stalking, and you know, I just, I thought that was kind of out of line. Well, I think we need to move it back, move the show along to the next episode. Next. Thank you, Johnny and Allie. Four days after that last video, individuals were once again at the Cheshire Superior Court to sing carols to the court personnel as they left work and headed home. This video shows the response they got from Sheriff, Sheriff Richard Foote. So we're here at the Cheshire Superior Court to do some chronic caroling here as uh, this is supposedly public property, but we've been met by a group of uh, four individuals who are uh, attempting to threaten us. Now, this is the sheriff himself, uh, Richard Foote, in a leather jacket. Richard, what is it? what was it you were saying before? 
uh, you can't do what you're doing because you, What's you, that? there's no purpose, legitimate purpose for what you're doing. What is it? It's, against, it's, it's against the law. What, what is singing? What you're doing, harassing the people that are leaving singing you. Singing is harassing anyone. That's, That's correct. I'm telling you Sir. that you can't do that and you have to leave here. If you don't leave, you'll be arrested for criminal trespass. If you come back again, you'll be arrested for criminal trespass. Okay. What, what exactly is illegal here? Exactly? Standing in the middle of the road. Well, you're, you're standing here, in the middle of the road, I can do it. Standing in the middle of the road, standing in out here harassing the people that are coming in. So, so legitimate. Okay, okay, I'm telling you to leave. The place is closed. It's 4 o'clock. Even though it's closed, we can't be in a That's public correct. parking lot. No, the parking belongs to the county, and this county is telling you that you cannot. So don't I, as a taxpayer, don't get to come in the parking lot I'm forced to pay for. Is That's that right? Correct. How, what's wrong with singing? I don't, I, I don't understand. Uh, I see it as a form of free Excuse me? I don't know. That was incredibly disrespectful. What did you say? Did you, did you look into the incident that was in question with uh, Bob Tebow yes. dragging a man by the, the handcuffs? And what did you determine? Uh, we're still investigating. Oh, okay. Will you call me when you figure that yeah. out? Great. Um, the four of you are um, duty of persistent harassment of court personnel. Harassment? You are uh, prohibited from entering onto or remaining on county property here at 12 Court Street, parking lot or the building. Um, This so I can't even come into the court with statute on criminal trespass. I can't. I can't come into the court building. Is what if you're saying? If you have any legitimate county business, you have to call the business. sheriff's office, and the sheriff will set up an, an appointment to uh, conduct your business. So let me see if I've got this straight. You're saying if I want to come watch a public trial, I have to call you and ask permission first. Correct. <laughs> you well, can somebody right. please answer my question? You're saying that That's I've been harassing you guys. What have you, I? She'd like to know how you feel harassed. No, I'm just asking. Who have I harassed here? That, that have left here and you're well, would you, but you're would you tell somebody that you're harassing somebody else? Thank you for that opinion. I appreciate that. Opinion, well, the people that leave here feel that way. So. Well, I think your opinions are rude, sir, and That's I don't fine. appreciate you uh, doing that. Hey, As an elected you? official, I don't appreciate this attitude, and I don't appreciate your demeanor, and I don't appreciate the threats. You're criminal trespassing, so you have to leave. I appreciate you getting up in my face. I'm telling you to leave because. I don't appreciate that well, at all. That's fine. You have, you have an option. What if I get up in your face? You'd be arrested. Well, this gentleman was blocking my way and in Next time, could you just ask me nicely and not get in my face? Forever. Oh, why? Because you're a cop and rules to defy you? Forever. Never you get what you get. You guys want to be rude? See, you're getting you're getting closer to me now. Yeah. In a few seconds, you're going to leave. Later date, depending on your conduct. This is the first time I've ever come here to sing these. Okay. And I'm being asked to leave. Time to go. Do anything. Let's go. Let's go. See, you're just going to back me into a corner like this. Just once you get to the sidewalk, you're good to go. Come on, Ian. I'm going. I'm asking you nicely. Can you please? I'm going. He said we have a no trespassing order forever. Yep. <laughs> forever? Forever? We're not ever allowed oh, here? And you said that it could be changed if our conduct, like depending on our conduct? Mm. I don't understand exactly <laughs> what that's <laughs> <is. laughs> The dog's on alert. The taser's on high. Line up in the hall and shut up or die. Drug war cops are raiding the school. Sheriff Richard is up for re-election this year. So the residents of Cheshire County will get a chance to decide if this individual is right for the position of sheriff. Johnny? Hi, Jeff. You're on fire tonight. Um, so this seems to me like, um, first of all, I want to say that when uh, Sheriff Foote said uh, what you guys are doing out here is wrong or something, and then he said uh, why obviously you didn't hear yourself, I thought that was gold. I thought that was a great line from the sheriff. I know that the singers were really? offended and said that, that he was rude. I guess maybe it was a little rude, but I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, it's it sort of, it, I don't know. I didn't think it was really funny, but it's the kind of thing that you think in your head, like when you're working, you know, that someone might think about a customer of theirs, but they wouldn't say. Uh -huh. But he actually had the nerve to say it, and I, I find that kind of strange, you know, because I don't know. I mean, why? Why would you know if he's if he's a public employee, then why would he treat uh, his the people he's serving differently than you know someone who's 
you know, anyone else except the fact that he's, you know, an elected official and not, you know, getting paid for doing a good job. Indeed. Um, and then just back to the, the, the overall picture, uh, just overreaction to some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, insolence by the... Uh, the Free Keen, the, the choir, uh, the Shire Choir. Was that the Shire Choir? Yeah, that was that was a couple members, from, or four members from the Shire Choir. Right, singing some uh, old Richard Only songs. You mm -hmm. never met Richard, did you? No. Okay, great I guy. I miss him. Uh, so, also, before I forget, I wanted to, say, to put in a few words about Derek Freeman, uh, the activist of the year, the first ever. He is, um, as I neglected to mention once before on another show, Derek is my wardrobe chief, and he dresses me every day. He does a great job, and I, and, and I love you, Derek. Very Thank handsome. you. <laughs> yeah, that's one of his many talents. Uh, th <laughs> thank you, Allie. Um, well, what, what do you think about the idea that they're banned forever from, from going to see their friends in court, from, you know, unless they're personally, like, being summoned to court, then you know, they're not allowed to go to something that's been sort of taunted as a place where anyone can come and express, you know, outcry over someone, you know, any or come in support of whatever. Right, You're man. supposed to be able to come there and express yourself or at least report on things. Mm -hmm. And they are there to report. And now, they're, now they're basically banning the free press, the Banned independent press. For life. Forever. I don't even know. I, I don't know what to say to that. I mean, I, the first thing that popped into my head was that's not really going to, that's just not going to stick. It's not going to. It's not going to fly. It's. it's so you it's think a misstatement, if, maybe. So you think if if those four people that were there in the video were to go back, um, you know, then they wouldn't be arrested. No, I think that they would be. But I, 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 I don't know. I feel like maybe they will be banned for life. I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know what to to say to that. It's funny. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty outrageous. Uh, it's just. I mean, the it's just sort of like they're bothering me, and I don't like it. So make it stop, please, office or sheriff Foot. And he comes out there and he puts his foot down, despite if he's in the wrong or the right, because they can do what they want. So it's not unpredictable. It's just um, it's just sort of goes against the whole idea of having an open government. This is a secret government. This is a government that doesn't want accountability. It doesn't want cameras. It doesn't want people asking them questions. It wants to be left alone and to operate behind the doors of the courthouse and to n for no one except people that are forced to be here to know what's going on. Yeah, it just wants to go back to the good old days where people didn't, didn't really know what was going on. And Police brutality wasn't something that, 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 that seemed to happen, although it did probably happen more than.